Hello everyone, welcome back to the Plan 3 Games. We are playing The Lost Legacy Uncharted 5 uh, on our way to find the lost or broken dusk of Lord Ganesh. Um, now all everybody is here apart from, I mean, just not uh, Nathan Drake, but we have Sam Drake, Nadine Ross, as well as Chloe Frazier. All are being captive right now by Asav, who's the main villain. And it seems like uh, we are reaching towards the climax or say the ending of the game. And let's see what's gonna happen. So here we go. So, Nadine Ross. Don't talk to me. <laughs> I was gonna say, you look good. Was I not clear? What's that smell? Oh, I'm sorry. I haven't exactly had access to running water and soap recently. All the people you could have brought with you. <laughs> she saved my ass more than once, you know. You do remember that uh, she also tried to kill Nathan and I many, many times. And to be fair, you two tried to do the same to her. Uh, yeah, but that, that's not the point. The point is that the second we turn our backs, there will be a knife in there. <sighs> I can hear every word you're saying. I know! I trust her. <laughs> you know what? Fine. I guess I'm just a little bit hurt that we are walking away with nothing. But I guess you know what that's like, right? <laughs> I just want to see this. Oh, my God. Real classy, <laughs> thank you. Time and place, children. More that came from. Bike racks after school. Ugh. Just hurry up. God, I hate that. Made up. <laughs> it appears the kings have one final test. Looks like you won't be needing us, though, so we'll just be on. Oh, our on way. the contrary. Surely you know the story. <laughs> you see, Shiva gave Parashuram the mighty axe that struck Ganesh in the face, bringing Shiva's son, one of the greatest of the gods, to his knees. Another casualty of war. Don't. Yeah, seriously, Chloe, he's just gonna kill! Uh, he's right. But if you refuse, you will watch them die, inch by inch. All right! <laughs> Chloe, don't! Okay, looks like uh, we're gonna do what? Complete the puzzle from here. Don't try anything stupid. <laughs> No man, are you kidding me? I just don't even find anything else. Look at this. Let me see. Uh... All right, I saw that. Shiva and Parashurama. Okay. Same image. Nash? What now? If 
Chloe, don't you give this schmuck what he wants. Quiet. Come on. Yielding. It's going to fall. Quiet! Ganesh, quite an obstacle you've placed in my path. Sure, that's it. No. Okay, I forgot to move on. What are you doing? Shut up and watch. Need to keep the op hands open, I guess. Um. All the hands down, right? He yielded. Okay, he yielded. That was Are you all right? Here. That was unexpected. Holy shit, she's got balls, huh? I, I don't understand. It's an idiot. That's because you've got it all twisted, my friend. Ganesh allowed himself to be struck by the axe. That makes no sense. Not to a selfish prick, no. <laughs> See, Ganesh could have defeated Parashurama easily. But if he had... That would have made Shiva's axe look weak, powerless. Gonna have sacrificed himself to preserve his father's honor. See, even she gets it, not a drop of Indian blood in her. Magnificent, isn't it? Oh, what? Nothing to say now? Oh, if you like, I can tell you where to stick it. <laughs> well, my friends, I would love to kill you myself, but we must not anger the gods, for you have brought me a great fortune. Okay, then, what are you doing? I'm going to flood the chamber. I will miss you. Come on, is this really necessary? You know, nothing is ever truly destroyed. Only purified and reborn. Just shoot us and get it over with. Right. As the water fills your lungs, you will have time to reflect on the choices that brought you here. 
Perhaps in your next lives, you will fare better. Prick. I don't know about you guys, but I got a lot of regrets swimming around in my head right now. Well, tell me about it. I was really looking forward to kicking your ass again. Hey, you know, I'm not exactly thrilled about drowning next to you, either. Could you give it a rest, guys? I'm trying to concentrate. What are you doing? A little preparation goes a long way. Ha <laughs> ha, yes! Okay, let's go for this one right there. Uh, oh, Open it. Do me. Coming. Oh, okay, alright. Damn it. Uh, Ladies first. Chloe, dear, not to rush you, but could you please hurry the hell up? Take a deep breath. <laughs> This time, right? Got it. Should have seen that. Okay. Let it off. Everyone good? No water logs. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta quit smoking. <coughs> Don't. I think they saw us? Let's hope not. How the hell did Asov get that helicopter? Maybe it's the buyers. What do you mean? Still bird Asov talking about <coughs> heading to the old rail yard. Something about an arms deal. He's selling the tusk. So much for preserving his culture. Hey, just a second. Listen, uh... <clears throat> back there. Thanks for... Professional courtesy. <laughs> of course. So, are we good? No. I yeah, figured. If we hurry, we can intercept them before they make the sale. Huh. And there's our ride. There. Railroad tracks. Stop here. Uh. 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 Asov will have lookouts throughout the area. Best door on the side of caution. Right, right, right. And then we lose the tusk. You're welcome to stay behind. I'm just like. saying. All right, all right, all right, right. Less talking, more walking. So all that time in Asov's care, and you couldn't get any intel on the buyer? <laughs> By the way, this episode, uh, the puzzle was good, the story was good. Um, of course, there's more hatred towards Asav now. But I think there's a lot, to, lot more story than just the, the finale. So let's go ahead in our next episode and continue with it. Uh, if in case you have liked this episode, press the like button, subscribe to the channel, let me know what you think about the lost legacy. Bye-bye.